One of the things that happens inevitably as you get older, uh, either personally or with friends and family, is people start going through these medical things where they're trying to figure out they don't know what's wrong with them. I mean, it could be major or it could be, you know, maybe more minor, but there's this ongoing struggle to figure out what's wrong. Uh, and this can be really concerning and kind of feel like you're in this, you know, just this space of not knowing. There's a, there's a part uh, in the gospel where Jesus says that, that those who are sick need the physician. And, and he's really, he's talking to the Pharisees and the Sadducees to say, like, let's, let's, let's acknowledge our need for God and not just uh, kind of make ourselves God or just be into the, the ritual, the things that we're doing. And I was thinking about that passage uh, in reference as we're going through Advent, uh, some, of the, some of the things we've been looking at are kind of the, the, the prophecies about Jesus, the things that speak to who Jesus is and how Jesus was the, is the suffering servant. Isaiah speaks of he who was pierced for our transgressions. And it talks about how this suffering servant takes upon himself our sins. You know, and it might seem weird in the midst of Advent to look forward to the cross. But I think in some ways, Advent and Christmas and the crib only make sense when we look at it in light of the cross. As Jesus comes, as the divine physician comes to heal us. Sometimes we don't exactly know what's wrong all we know is we need a doctor. And so as we look to Jesus as, as, as he who, who takes our suffering, takes our sin, and bears that cross, I want to challenge you just to surrender whatever it is to God. If, if, if you feel like you don't know what you need or how you need healed, but you know you need the physician, we always know that we need God. That's one of the beautiful things about God is he knows our need even more than we do. He knows exactly what we need. He knows what you need today. So my invitation is, as we go through Advent, these, these days of Advent, to look to the cross. Look to the cross in thankfulness. Look to the cross in surrender. But look to the cross and see the divine physician who wants to heal you, who wants to make you whole.